Turbocharge Your Study Sessions, a comprehensive guide to studying better with ADHD. Hello, studying machines. As you may know, attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, can make traditional study methods feel like a slog. But fear not. With the right strategies, you can turn ADHD traits into assets that will help you excel in your studies. This video aims to provide you with a comprehensive guide to studying better with ADHD, complete with tips, strategies, and real-life examples. 1. Understanding ADHD and study challenges. Before diving into the strategies, it's crucial to understand how ADHD affects your ability to study. ADHD can make it difficult to focus, organize tasks, and manage time. However, it can also offer unique strengths like creativity and the ability to think outside the box. Example, if you find traditional note-taking boring, use your creativity to make mind maps or doodles that help you remember the material better. Two, the power of routine. Creating a study routine can provide the structure that many people with ADHD crave. Choose a specific time and place to study every day. Use alarms or reminders to help you stick to your routine. Example, if you study best in the morning, set an alarm for 8 a.m. and head to your designated study spot with all the materials you need. Three, chunking, breaking down big tasks. Large tasks can be overwhelming. Breaking them down into smaller, manageable tasks can make them less daunting. Divide your study material into sections. Focus on one section at a time. Example, instead of trying to read an entire chapter in one go, break it down into subsections and tackle one subsection at a time. Four, the Pomodoro technique, short bursts of focus. The Pomodoro technique involves studying in short bursts usually 25 minutes, followed by a five-minute break. Use a timer to track your study and break intervals. During breaks, engage in a physical activity to expend some energy. Example, study for 25 minutes, then do some quick jumping jacks during the five-minute break. Five, active learning, engage to retain. Active learning techniques can help you engage with the material, making it easier to remember. Summarize information in your own words. Teach the material to someone else. Example, after reading a section, try to explain it to a family member or friend. Six, tech tools to keep you on track. There are various apps and software designed to help you focus and organize your tasks. Use apps like Forest or Freedom to block distracting websites. Utilize project management tools like Trello or Asana. Example, Use Forest to plant a virtual tree that grows as you study, providing a visual incentive to stay focused. Seven, accountability partners, two heads are better than one. Having someone to keep you accountable can be a powerful motivator. Find a study buddy or join a study group. Update each other on your progress and challenges. Example, schedule weekly check-ins with your study buddy to discuss what you've accomplished and plan for the next week. All in all, studying with ADHD may present unique challenges, but it's far from impossible. By employing these strategies, you can turn these challenges into opportunities for growth and success. Remember, the key is to adapt these tips to fit your personal needs and strengths. Thank you for tuning in, Studying Machines. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, happy studying and learning.